so for Black Friday, Watch Gecko did a deal where you get six uh, mystery straps for I think it was like fifty dollars and a couple of other goodies. I went ahead and grabbed it. This is my first time taking a look at Watch Gecko watches. So underneath this cover, I have the six random straps that they sent me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through them, and yeah, let's uh, let's take a look and see what we got. So if I remember correctly, the price was around 50 US dollars. I think it was in pounds because they're a British based company. Um, but if I remember correctly, the deal was uh, two metal bracelets, two leather straps, and two other straps. Um, so for my other straps, they sent me a NATO and a rubber strap, and then a couple of other goodies, um, which, you know, probably nobody really cares too much about. So what I'm going to do is I have these six straps here, and I've gone ahead and chosen six of my watches that I'm going to uh, try these straps on. I'll let you guys try and figure out which straps you think are going to go with which watch, and we'll go through and I'll talk about, um, yeah, what I think about the straps. Um, one thing to note, so these straps that they sent, uh, I can't find most of them on the website, so I have a feeling that these are kind of old stock that they've been looking to move. So I don't know if this is really representative of the current kinds of straps that Watch Gecko is sending out. So it's, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, I wouldn't judge their entire um, business model based on these particular straps because, again, they seem to be older straps that they don't carry anymore. So starting with the metal bracelets, this is a nice five link bracelet, all brushed. It has a really nice uh, feel and texture to it. Really catches the night, the light, pretty well. You're getting uh, pretty good, you know, double security there. You got a little flap there, and then double pushers there. Inside is nicely milled. You're also get also getting three micro adjusts on there. But yeah, overall it feels like a pretty high quality strap. So I'm pretty happy with it. Let's go ahead and choose a watch to put it on. All right, we're going to try this one on the Spinnaker Dumas. Let's see how it looks with that watch gecko bracelet. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? I think looks wise, it matches pretty good. Um, I like the five links and how it works with the uh, case of the Dumas. I love how the Dumas just makes any bracelet with flat end links really look integrated like that. Um, so I think this is a pretty good look for it. Now the real question is going to be, is it more comfortable than that steel mesh bracelet that the, the Dumas came installed on? Yeah, and I think the, I think the answer there is yes. Yeah, you don't have that keeper flopping around anymore. I think that does remedy some of the issues that I had with the bracelet that the Dumas came on. Yeah, overall pretty happy with this bracelet. All right, so next bracelet we're going to take a look at is this kind of oyster style bracelet. Very nice, uh, you know, polished mid links and brushed uh, links on the side. Um, you can see I have been wearing these, so uh, I've, I've tested these out a little bit. So there's some scuffs that it's already picked up. Um, but yeah, it seems like overall pretty high quality bracelet. You're getting same thing, double push, double pushers there, little security clasp there, and inside nicely milled. This one seems a lot smoother. Um, both of these obviously are coming with flat uh, end links, straight end links, so it will fit with you know pretty much any watch. But yeah, let's go ahead and choose a watch to try this bracelet out with. All right, for the next bracelet, I'm going to do it with this uh, Citizen Bryson Chronograph. Uh, the strap that it comes with is kind of a cool rally style strap, but it is kind of dry and stiff, not the nicest feeling, so I've also been kind of looking for some good replacements for that one as well. Let's try it out. All right, bracelet number two, and yeah, let's go for that Rolex Daytona look, right? Yeah, this, is, this watch I've really had a lot of fun with. Almost every strap that I put on looks pretty cool, and this is definitely no exception. This is one of my favorite looks for it. Um, really transforms the look of the lo of the watch. Love those polished center links. All right, and there you have it on wrist. And I really like the way that turned out. That looks pretty cool. Love those polished middle links there. Um, this one has a really steep taper on it, and I think that looks pretty cool too. It goes from 22 at the lugs all the way down to 17 down at the clasp, so really steep there. Um, but gives it a nice elegant look. Wears really comfortably. Yeah, 
pretty nice. The one thing I will say about this one that was a bit of a negative, and that is that it's really tight on the lugs. It's like just almost exactly 22 millimeters, so it fits really tight, so it's hard to angle it in there. And then the slots for the spring bar are really narrow, so most of my spring bar tools were a little bit too wide, so it was really kind of a pain to install it and take it out. But other than that, it's a pretty cool bracelet. So yeah, definitely another winner there. Really, really enjoy having this one too, so cool. Okay, so moving on to the leather straps that they sent. This one is just a very simple, uh, genuine leather strap. It's not, uh, it's not like full grain or top grain leather or anything like that. It's just a you know nice, solid, genuine leather. Nice, nice smooth texture to it. Um, nice stitching. It's kind of a tan or off-white stitching. Gives a little bit of a vintage look to it. Uh, it is uh, padded up here at the top, and then it's a little bit flatter down here. Um, yeah, but all in all, a nice, nice quality leather strap, I think. Let's go ahead and pick a watch to try it out on. All right, it's winter here in Japan, so it's not a good time for metal bracelets, I don't think. I've been looking for a good leather bracelet for my Nighthawk, or leather strap for my Nighthawk, and I think that black one will look pretty cool on this. Let's check it out. So yeah, I've been looking for a nice black leather strap to go on the Nighthawk for a while, and I think with this kind of uh, sort of faded white stitching uh, really gives it a cool kind of vintage look to it and matches the watch really well. So definitely a nice uh, winter fall alternative to the metal bracelet of the Nighthawk. And then on wrist, very comfortable. And pretty good, good taper on this one as well. But yeah, I think this might be one of my favorite straps out of the bunch. It's really simple, but just really high quality, good uh, black leather strap. Those are kind of hard to come by. Gives it an elegant look, but definitely matches with the more tool aesthetic. All right, so next leather strap. So this one is kind of got a uh, you know, nice pebbled leather texture to it, which I do like the texture. Um, it is just a genuine leather strap though. So again, this is a texture that's you know probably embossed on there. It's probably not like uh, the actual leather grain because it is genuine leather uh, and not full grain leather. Italy Design, and this one's an Alpha strap, which I haven't really heard of Alpha straps before. And then this feels maybe a little, I mean, it's very soft underneath, but it's maybe a little bit more on the cheaper side than the other one. But let's see if we can find a watch to try this one out with. So that, so that orange strap, I'm not totally sure what it's going to go good with, but let's try it on this Orient Polaris here, see how it looks. Okay, now this one I'm not so sure about. I went with the uh, Orient Polaris here and put it on there. I don't know, something about the color. Just I found it hard to match with many of my watches. It's a little bit too orange. Maybe a little bit more brown would have been nicer. I like the pattern. Uh, I like that you know sort of pebbled leather look, and the stitching is good. Yeah, color is just not quite what I prefer. Yeah, color is just not quite what I'd prefer. I don't know, maybe on like a field watch or something it might look pretty good. Um, I wish it had a little bit of a taper to it. It's pretty much straight 22 millimeters all the way around. But comfortable strap. I'm not sure what I'll wind up using it on or maybe just keep it in the box until I find a watch. But this is probably my least favorite out of the pack. Okay, so next up we have this uh, sort of vintage Bond NATO. I really like this sort of distressed look on it. It's kind of a really gray, uh, so almost sandblasted matte finish on the hardware there that's pretty cool. You can see the colors are faded. The, you know, the, the material feels decent. It doesn't feel like seat belt or anything like that, just kind of normal uh, NATO nylon. It's got that kind of uh, cool tag in there, it's sort of a nice touch. Hardware is uh, nice, you know, pretty pretty thin, but it feels sturdy. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break or bend or anything. But yeah, let's go ahead and pick a watch to try this one out with. All right, down to the last two watches. 
And I'm going to go with this Jack Mason. Um, I think the kind of, you know, Flieger aesthetic will go good with a NATO and that vintage look. Yeah, I think it'll match. I think the colors will look good. Let's go ahead and swap it over and check it out. Yeah, I think that kind of lends into the sort of military look of it. The colors kind of play off each other nicely. Yeah, and I like the sort of faded vintage look on this one. It's uh, pretty cool. Even the uh, sort of distressed buckles and stuff. You know, on wrist, feels good. Feels like a NATO. It's not, you know, it's a pretty normal quality NATO. Um, I mean, on the nice side, but nothing spectacular as far as materials go. I will say it's really long. Um, that's cool. Uh, most of the NATOs I get, I can barely tuck it all. This one goes all the way to the second keeper, so it's super long. Uh, some more traditional size there. So that's a really, really cool plus. I like that they did that. So cool. I, I really like this NATO. That's a good one. All right, last but not least, we have this rubber strap. And this is, uh, I think it's a Zulu Diver. Yeah, it's a Zulu Diver there. So that's a brand that I think I've seen them carry on their site. It's a very thick uh, rubber strap. Feels like, you know, real rubber, not uh, silicone. Uh, so it's a little bit stiffer than silicone, actually a lot stiffer than silicone. Uh, definitely going to take some time to break this one in. Nice channels carved into the rubber there. Yeah, it looks like a really high quality rubber strap. So this one's actually pretty nice. I was pretty impressed with this one. Yeah, but let's go ahead and get it on our last watch to check out. All right, finally we have the Spinnaker Fluce, one of my favorite everyday wear watches. And it did come with a leather strap, which, you know, for a dive watch is maybe not ideal if you want to go in the water. So I think a rubber strap will look good with it. Let's try it out. And I think it looks really good. Um, I think the Fluce is a pretty versatile watch. It can go with a lot of different straps. Um, so putting a dive watch on a rubber strap, I think, is a, a good choice. And, you know, going from the Spinnaker's uh, leather strap that it came with to a rubber strap, I think, makes a lot of sense, especially if I was going to go in the water with this. And the black rubber with a little bit of texture on it, I think, looks really well with the uh, black face and bezel of the fluce here. It's not bad on the wrist. It was really stiff at first. I've kind of been trying to break it in for a while, and it's... Uh, been curving a little bit. It still feels a little bit stiff, um, but it has broken a little bit. I imagine it'll take a bit longer. It's a, it's a feels like a very high quality piece of rubber, um, so that's good. But part of that I think is kind of a little bit longer than usual break-in time for it. But I think it looks really good on the watch, and yeah, definitely this would be a good option for taking the fluce into the water rather than just using it as a desk diver uh, on the leather strap that it came with. Yeah, I think it kind of works well with the whole vintage style of the fluce. Okay, and that'll do it. That's the last strap. So let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think of these pairings? What do you think of each strap individual? Um, let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments and if you have any experience with Watch Gecko. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the straps. Um, yeah, they're all decent and definitely for the price that I got them at, very happy with uh, the grab bag. It was a lot of fun and a cool thing that they did. So appreciate them. Uh, that'll wrap up the video for today. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.